The blower door is a diagnostic tool designed to measure the overall air tightness of buildings and to help locate and document air leakage sites. Building air tightness measurements are used for a variety of purposes including documenting the construction air tightness of buildings, estimating natural infiltration rates in houses, measuring and documenting the effectiveness of air sealing activities, and measuring duct leakage in forced air distribution systems. The blower door consists of a powerful calibrated fan that is temporarily sealed into an exterior doorway. The fan blows air into or out of the building to create a slight pressure difference between the inside and outside. This pressure difference forces air through all holes and penetrations in the exterior envelope. By simultaneously measuring the airflow through the fan and its effect on the air pressure in the building, the blower door system measures the air tightness of the entire building envelope. In this video, we'll show the various components of a Minneapolis blower door system, how to set up the system, how to prepare the house, and then how to take a one-point depressurization test. The Minneapolis blower door system consists of three main components, the blower door fan and controller, the aluminum frame and panel, and the DG700 pressure and flow gauge. The blower door fan consists of a rugged molded urethane fan housing with a powerful three-quarter horsepower motor. Airflow through the fan is determined by measuring the pressure at the flow sensor which is attached to the end of the motor. Under normal operating conditions, air is pulled into the inlet side of the fan and exits through the exhaust side. Although some Model 3 fan motors are reversible, airflow can only be measured when air is exhausting through the exhaust side of the fan. The blower door fan can accurately measure airflow over a wide range of flow rates using a series of calibrated flow rings which are attached to the inlet of the fan. The standard Minneapolis blower door system comes with two flow rings, A and B, capable of measuring flows as low as 300 cubic feet per minute or CFM. Optional rings are available which allow flow measurements to as low as 11 CFM. The adjustable aluminum door frame and nylon panel is used to seal the fan into an exterior doorway. The door frame is adjustable to fit typical size residential door openings up to 8 feet. The aluminum frame consists of five separate pieces which are shipped in a cloth frame case. The frame was designed to be quickly assembled and broken down to simplify storage and transport. If desired, the frame can be transported completely assembled. The accessory bag holds the DG700 gauge along with the gauge mounting board, fan speed controller, nylon door panel, hoses, manuals and parts. Next, we'll show you some information about safely operating the Minneapolis blower door and how to prepare the house for a test. The Minneapolis blower door fan is a very powerful and potentially dangerous piece of equipment if not used and maintained properly. Carefully examine the fan before each use. If the fan housing, fan guards, blade, controller, or cords become damaged, do not operate the fan until repairs have been made. Repairs should only be made by qualified repair personnel. Please review the manual for more detailed safety information. Before a test can be performed on the house, it must be made ready for the test. Close all windows, close all exterior doors, and interior attic or crawl space hatches which are connected to conditioned spaces, and open all interior doors to rooms that are conditioned. Adjust all combustion appliances so they do not turn on during the test. This is commonly done by temporarily turning off power to the appliance or setting the appliance to the pilot setting. Turn off all exhaust fans, vented dryers, air conditioners, ventilation system fans, and air handler fans. Review the manual for other issues related to combustion appliances. To assemble the frame, remove one long and one short frame piece from the case. Disengage the cam levers on each piece by flipping the cam lever to the relaxed position. Be sure the adjustment knobs have been tightened so the frame piece does not extend as you put the frame together. Snap the two pieces together by sliding one end of the short piece over one corner block on the long frame piece. You'll need to push in the round bullet on the corner block as you slide the pieces together. 
the round bullet will snap into the hole located on the short frame piece. Assemble all four sides of the frame together in this manner. Be sure the cam levers and adjustment knobs are all on the same side of the frame as you assemble the pieces. To insert the middle frame bar, first loosen the adjustment knobs on the crossbar and the top and bottom frame pieces. With the frame adjusted to its smallest size and the cam levers and knobs facing you, insert one hook into the second slot from the bottom on one side of the frame. Extend the middle bar and insert the second hook on the other side of the frame. Push the middle bar down so the hooks are fully set into the slots. It's always best to install the blower door system in an exterior doorway of a large open room. Try to avoid installing the fan in a doorway where there are stairways or major obstructions to airflow that are very close to the fan inlet, say one to five feet. The first step is to fit the adjustable frame loosely in the door opening. Adjust the width of the frame by loosening the three knobs on the top, middle, and bottom frame pieces and sliding the sides apart. The side frame weather stripping should be touching the sides of the door jam opening, but should be easily removed. Retighten the knobs. Now loosen the knobs on the two vertical frame pieces and slide the frame up to the top of the door opening. Retighten the vertical frame piece knobs. Remove the frame from the door opening and set it up against a wall. Take the nylon panel out of the accessory case and drape the top of the panel over the top of the frame. Use the long Velcro strip at the top of the panel to hold the panel over the top frame piece. Use the two Velcro tabs at the bottom of the panel to secure the panel around the bottom piece of the frame. Once the bottom tabs are attached, readjust the top Velcro strip to remove any slack and tighten the panel vertically over the frame. Now pull both sides of the panel tightly around the frame and secure the panel with the four side Velcro tabs. You are now ready to fit the frame and panel into the door opening and secure it in place. Lift the frame and panel assembly and insert it into the doorway and up against the doorstop. If necessary, readjust the frame so it fits snugly in the door opening, being sure to retighten the five adjustment knobs. Flip the five cam levers so that they are in line with the frame to securely tighten the frame in the opening. These cam levers provide the final tightening in the door opening. The easiest way to place the house reference tube is to take the green hose through the fan opening and while holding one end of the tube, throw the remaining tubing off to the side of the house. This helps to ensure that the outside end of the tubing will be placed well away from the exhaust flow of the blower door fan. Then run the green tubing through one of the patches in the bottom corners of the nylon panel. Pull on the hose until about four feet of the hose is inside. Place the fan with the flow rings and no flow plate installed in line with the large hole in the door panel. The exhaust side of the fan should be facing the door panel. Now tip the fan forward with one hand while you stretch the elastic panel collar over the exhaust flange of the fan. The elastic panel collar should fit snugly around the fan with the collar resting in the gap between the two sides of the electrical box. The fan is held in place and stabilized by the Velcro strap attached to the aluminum frame crossbar. Slip the Velcro strap through the fan handle and loop it up and back around the crossbar. Pull the strap tight so that it's holding the bottom fan flange approximately two inches off the floor. The Velcro strap can now be attached to itself. The gauge mounting board can now be attached to the gauge hanger bar which comes with the adjustable aluminum door frame. To use this option, connect the gauge hanger bar to either side of the aluminum frame by inserting the hook into one of the remaining slots on the side of the frame. You can now tighten the mounting board clamp onto the hanger bar. The black mounting board can also be attached to any door as well as to any horizontal surface like a bookshelf or a desktop by rotating the clamp 90 degrees before securing the board. The next step is to connect the hoses to the gauge and fan. Connect the remaining end of the green tubing to the channel A reference tab. Channel A is used to measure the building pressure with reference to outside. Connect the red tubing to the channel B input tab. Channel B is used to measure fan pressure and flow. 
The remaining end of the red tubing should now be connected to the pressure tap on the blower door fan electrical box. Check that the fan direction switch is in the proper position. The fan direction switch, which is located on the fan electrical box, determines the airflow direction. In order to measure airflow during a blower door test, air must flow through the fan inlet and out the exhaust side of the fan. Insert the female plug from the fan speed controller into the receptacle located on the fan electrical box. Make sure that the plug is pushed completely into the receptacle. Overheating of the plug or receptacle can result if not installed correctly. Be sure the fan controller knob is turned all the way counterclockwise to the off position before plugging into the power outlet. The remaining cord, the power cord, should be firmly plugged into a power outlet.